Hello, welcome to a logo maker tutorial. Um, I'm gonna go there right now. So, uh, in the in your search bar, just search up l o g o m a k r dot com, and that'll take you to Logo Maker. An intro movie uh, starts up. You can watch it if you still have questions. But I'm just gonna close out of that. Also, there are a bunch of tutorials on individual things that this website can do for you um, that are just right here and you just can click there. Um, like it says over here, there's a, over a million different graphics. Uh, that's what makes this site pretty, pretty great. Um, I'm gonna start on this side. So if we are just clicking into text, it's just gonna pop this out and says type something. So if I go and uh, let's just say global warming. If I type something out, uh, it'll show up here. Um, I can grow it up this way. I can uh, turn it just from these, um, from the sides here. And then also uh, there is some options here where I can make it bold, italicize, underline, and then there's this three line box uh, that'll even bring up more options. Uh, you can orient your lettering. Um, you can have a strike through. Uh, if you don't click on fit to text, if I would start typing some more stuff, you would not be able to see that in there. Um, I always just like to keep fit to text on. Um, this will change your line height. So depending on how big your box is, um, you can, it'll just take it up or down. Um, this will space each individual letter. Um, and then if you have two words, like global warning, oh, warming, it'll just change the distance between those two. Oh, that's pretty fun. Let's get rid of this. Um, also, oops. on the top here, you can go through the many different um, types of font that they have. Um, or you can simplify that by just choosing a genre. Um, so that's that. Uh, you'll notice on this side, this is uh, layers. So it's gonna start recording your layers down here. This is your layers box. Uh, in these three dots, you can duplicate. You can send back, send front, uh, or send one step back, one step front, or delete. Um, a nice little trick for drop shadow, if you wanna give your logo a little bit of depth, uh, on the, the layer that's below, you can make it a little bit darker and you won't see it just because that layer is up on top or this, this layer is up on top of this layer. But uh, if you move it, which we're just about to do, so I changed the opacity. Opacity just means um, how see-through it is. If I can just click and drag, you can start to see a little bit of a 3D. I mean, depending on how far you bring it down, it can make it really 3D, but. Yeah. Uh, can look good on certain things. Now we'll just check out, if I was doing like a global warming, I might just uh, search up a globe and see what I get great thing about this website is that they have a ton to choose from and you can mix and match what they have as well um, so if I wanted to yeah let's just say pull out this globe <clears throat> excuse me if I just wanted to pull out this globe um, I could again just change the color on the color wheel here and make it a little bit darker um, and then I could add something uh, on the top. 
usually you'd want your fancy text above uh, or your text above the the symbol whatever logo you're going to use i can just click and drag that or i can do the three dots and say send to front um, I'm going to put another, I'm just going to search up globe again and look for something that I could stick on top of this globe. Um, I'm going to change the color because it might just look a little bit better. Mm -hmm. And I like this little, um, uh, this circle that you can just click and drag around. It's pretty cool. Uh, and then I just shrink it down. I'm going to put this on top, move this in the middle. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah, I like it. Um, that's a little, uh, a bit of what's going on. If you feel like this is done, um, which I wouldn't feel like it is, but um, I like to perfect things a lot. If you get done, you can save your logo by this little uh, floppy disk uh, icon. It's going to offer you a $19 thing. You really don't want that. Nobody wants to pay $19 for this. Um, just say no thanks. It'll drop uh, in your save bar, a little PNG here. So, um, yeah, I hope that helped. Uh, if you need more help, just take a look at those tutorials that are just right here.